In this video, you'll hear the remarkable story of a man on the brink of death, but in that critical moment, a nurse sprang into action. What happened 45 minutes later will leave you speechless. John Juris lived a peaceful life in Salem, Oregon. Each morning, he went to work and went about his daily routine. He was engaged to his beautiful girlfriend, Janet Carter, who he was deeply in love with, and she felt the same way about him. John, an American who rarely visited the hospital due to good health, found his routine disrupted one particular day. On a bright morning, April 4th, he suddenly began sweating profusely, and his chest started aching intensely. What could be wrong? He muttered beneath his breath as he placed his hands on his aching chest. Juris hoped he would get better, but sadly, that wasn't the case. He started to have a strange feeling across his entire body and was still in pain. At that moment, he knew something was definitely wrong. But what was it? He had no clue. Immediately, he called his girlfriend and told her to take him to the hospital. I remember telling her, I need to get to the hospital. I couldn't describe how I felt at that moment. It was so horrible, he explained. Janet was surprised because he never went to the doctor. However, she knew that something must be wrong, so she didn't question his request. The woman got him into the car, started the engine, and drove straight to Salem Hospital. She drove as fast as she could because she was scared of losing him. Throughout their journey to the clinic, his condition was stable. However, when they arrived at the emergency area of the hospital, his heart had stopped beating. The scared woman pressed on the horn of the car, but nobody could hear her, so she immediately ran to the hospital and asked for help. Thankfully, there was a nurse around who had just started her night shift. The caregiver didn't know what was happening at first. However, she could see that the woman was in a hurry and visibly shaking, so she immediately ran outside with her. When she got into the car, she realized that Juris was in an awful state. Immediately, she started performing CPR in the car. When I got into the car, I realized the situation was terrible, so I started CPR to keep his heart pumping and allow oxygen to flow to his brain, the nurse said. A few moments later, more medical staff arrived at the scene. They got him out of the car and placed him on a stretcher. At that very moment, the dedicated nurse did something amazing to keep him alive. She jumped on top of him and started performing CPR again. She kept at it as other medical staff wheeled a 61-year-old man into the emergency room. The nurse added, As soon as I jumped on top of him and started performing CPR, seeing him and looking at how bad he looked at the time, I just knew I had to keep him stable till we got him into the room. Thankfully, there were many doctors available to attend to Juris. They used the defibrillator ten times on him. Unfortunately, his heart kept fading in and out. However, the doctors didn't stop their efforts to resuscitate Juris. The man required some medications and energy to restart his heart. Fortunately, after about 45 minutes of hard work from the doctors, he finally came back to life. Isn't that remarkable? After Juris regained consciousness, the doctors moved him to a catheterization lab. There, a cardiologist at the hospital realized that there was a blocked artery in his heart. They successfully removed the blockage from his artery. However, he had a 10-day recovery period at the hospital. Emergency physician Jeff Hamstreet and his medical team were happy to see Juris healthy after his resuscitation. It was a gratifying moment for them. Janet was grateful to the hospital for what they did for her lover. She was so delighted to see him alive after his cardiac arrest. According to her, no words could describe how thankful she was to the hospital. For Juris, he would be forever grateful to the hospital for saving his life. The survivor said, if it wasn't for the medical team at Salem Hospital, I'd be dead by now. I'm still alive today because they did their best to save me. What they did for me was absolutely a miracle. I owe them my life. After his 10-day stay at the hospital, he was discharged and returned home. Without a doubt, he was a true fighter, Miroslav Ziatos. Another man who miraculously survived severe cardiac arrest was Miroslav Ziatos from England. Miroslaw lived in St. Ives, a seaside town in England. Whenever he went shopping, he always hopped on his bicycle and rode down to the nearest store in town. However, 
he never knew that something awful would happen to him one cold evening. It was the 21st of June. Miroslaw stepped out of his house to get some items at the shop in town. After getting all he needed, he left the store and got on his bicycle. Unfortunately, at that very moment, he suffered a cardiac arrest and slumped to the ground. The man could not breathe. Fortunately, two off-duty police officers and the cardiologist Claire Chapman arrived at the scene shortly after this awful incident. The nurse, who was also off-duty that night, worked as a staff member at Royal Papworth Hospital in England. That very night, she had just finished shopping for tea. All of a sudden, she saw a multitude of people gathering around as she left the store. What could be wrong? She whispered to herself and moved closer to see what was happening. She was stunned to see Miroslaw lying on the floor and sprang into action immediately. The nurse checked his pulse, but it wasn't there. The woman noticed that his face had become pale. At that point, she understood that the man had suffered a cardiac arrest. She knew she had to do something to save his life, so she started performing CPR on the dying man. After eight full minutes, he regained consciousness and was able to breathe. Isn't that amazing? The man was placed in an ambulance and taken to the emergency section of the hospital. There, doctors worked on unblocking his arteries. Claire, who saved the man's life, said, When I saw him, I couldn't believe it. I wondered how long he had been there. However, I noticed he wasn't breathing and had no pulse. Immediately, instinct kicked in, and I went on autopilot, performing CPR in rotation with a couple of other people, and we managed to get him breathing and stable again. Although she had looked after patients who had suffered from cardiac arrest at the hospital for 12 years, she had never had to deal with a situation like Miroslaw's. However, she was delighted that she was able to save his life. All my life, working at the cardiology wards in Royal Papworth Hospital, I never had to do anything like this before. You hope to never use your CPR skills, but it's so important we're all trained in case this happens. I'm just glad I was there at the right time. It was so comforting to see him alive again, the nurse explained. The next morning, Claire returned to work at the hospital and found Miroslaw recovering well. Later that day, his son Matus, daughter-in-law, and granddaughter came to visit. The doctors told the family that without Nurse Claire's quick actions, Miroslaw wouldn't have survived. According to the doctors, survival rates are extremely low for cardiac arrest victims when it happens far from a clinic. When Miroslaw's family saw Claire, they rushed to her, overwhelmed with gratitude for what she had done. To express their thanks, they presented her with many gifts and a beautiful bouquet of flowers. As you can imagine, it was an incredibly emotional moment for the nurse. Miroslaw had to stay in the hospital for several days while doctors ran multiple tests. Afterward, he was discharged and allowed to go home, where he began his journey to full recovery. Within weeks, his health had improved significantly. Later, he sent a heartfelt letter to the nurse and the other staff at the hospital. I want to thank Nurse Claire and everyone who saved my life that night. Without their help, I wouldn't be alive today. I'm also grateful to the doctors who looked after me at the hospital, the man said. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.